The Crystal Reports Installation Wizard works with Microsoft Windows Installer to guide you through the installation process. The Installation Wizard automatically recognizes your computer's operating system and updates files as required. This chapter provides step-by-step -step instructions for installing Crystal Reports and shows how to customize your installation. The main topics are Installation requirements on page 2 Installing Crystal Reports on a local machine on page 3 Creating an installation point and installing from a network server on page 4 Customizing your installation on page 6 Running a silent installation on page 9 Upgrading Crystal Reports components on page 11 is one of the final steps in the installation process. You'll be asked if you want to register the product. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete this process. If you are installing Crystal Reports on a computer running any of the supported operating systems, See minimum installation requirements above. You must have administrator privileges. The installation process creates registry entries and may update some system files that require administrator rights. Close all currently running programs and stop as many services as possible when installing Crystal Reports. If you want to limit the features you install, See Customizing your installation on page 6 to install on a local machine 1. Unless autoplay is enabled for your CD-ROM drive. Run setup.exe from the Win32 directory of your product distribution. Note, depending on the configuration of your current system, you may receive a dialog box informing you to update existing files. If this happens, click Yes and restart your machine. The installation wizard updates the required files to Read and accept the license agreement to proceed with the installation 3. In the user information dialog box, type your name, organization, and the product activation key code 4. Click Next. The Select Installation Type dialog box appears.